The Giants continue to add pieces to their team. They have signed cornerback Walter Thurmond and safety kick returner Quinton Dems. I'm Tony Collins with your ESPN headline, joined by NFL insider Dan Graziano. Dan, Walter Thurmond, the Giants agree with him for one year. We have a $3.5 million deal. Last season, we saw him with the Seahawks primary corner slot. He finished with 24 tackles, one interception, one sack. How will he fit into the Giants system the way they want him to? Well, they're still working on trying to sign Dominique Rogers cromarty as their starter on the outside, along with Prince and Mukamara. But if they don't, Thurman is a guy they could play out there. If they do, Thurman is a guy who, as you mentioned, played the slot cornerback position for the Super Bowl champions and did it very well this year. He's the kind of young free agent they've been looking for, mid to late 20s, uh, a guy they feel like they can, you know, that has room to grow, somewhat established in the league, but also still something to prove. So that's the kind of guy they've been looking for. He fills a need for them at cornerback, and I think they feel like they're covered now. If they get someone else for the outside, great. If not, this is a guy that can play a couple different spots for them. Now, another player that was signed was safety kick returner Quinton Dempsey. He had six starts with Kansas City Chiefs last season. What kind of player is he, and what does he bring to the team? He's, he brings speed. He's a very fast player, and he's a great kick returner. He was third in the NFL last year with an average of 30.1 yards per kick return. The Giants, as a team, were 27th in the league with an average of 21.2 yards per kick return. So they need some help on that kick return unit. And obviously, there's more that goes into it than that. They need to block better on kick returns. But having a guy like Demps, who has breakaway speed and the ability to take you know, a return to the end zone anytime he gets his hands on the ball is a big addition for them. All right, we're, we're seeing how the Giants are continuing to fill holes. What's another priority that they need to address this offseason? Well, I think they lost their two best defensive linemen from last year in Linville Joseph and Justin Tuck, who signed with the Vikings and the Raiders, respectively. So they need to beef up there. They have guys ready to step in for those guys, but they will need more depth there. I think they need more work on the offensive line. They signed a guard in Jeff Schwartz, and they signed a center uh, J.D. Walton, who hasn't played in a couple years, so they need to keep adding pieces there. Wide receiver Hakeem Nix left. They need to replace him. They have no one on the roster, really, who's a capable or established NFL tight end. So they're really kind of just getting started there in New York. It's a long process ahead, huh? There you have it, ESPN NFL insider Dan Graziano with the insight for the latest NFL news. Keep it right here on ESPN.com. I'm Tony Collins with your ESPN Headline.